Ladies and gentlemen, oh, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Modern Vintage Cube uh, Horizons draft. And uh, right before I joined this draft, of course, uh, Magic Online is like, hey, just just so you know, Gabby Sparts won this match, and uh, that's how you do. And we're still opening packs from the uh, Modern Horizons box that my good friend Jake P. from Logan, Utah has sent me. Jake is an awesome dude. He is a supporter. Uh, he goes by Guardian Links or Spectral Links. And uh, he also has a store called The Game Grid in Logan, Utah. So if you guys are out there, definitely check it out. He's a pretty he's a pretty sweet dude. He's one of the nicest guys. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so we got a zombie here. And then you flip it over and it's an elephant. And that's pretty cool. That's cool enough. But also, this art card, it's in Urza. That's actually super sweet, dude. I really want... This is, this is one where you're going to have to actually... Come on. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I'm definitely gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make it. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this focus. Or not. Or we're not. This is so. This is such. This is such horseshit. It's unbelievable that this won't actually focus. I do it slow. Let's go in slow. We did it. All right, that was a that was an ordeal. Yeah, this thing looks sick, dude. It's so nice. And now for the rares, we have well, the rare, I guess. We have a snow-covered Islandos followed by a Great Hall of Heliod's Generosity, which is basically just Academy Ruins. Uh, it's Academy Ruins for enchantments or it's Volrath Stronghold for enchantments, which is neat because now you have a white one, which is enchantments you have a green a black one which is uh creatures which involve a stronghold and you have a blue one which is artifacts uh which is academy ruins this is a sweet cycle so i'm looking forward to seeing what the green one and the red one does they've all been permanent so far so green could possibly be creep now black is creature so you have creature enchantment and artifact green could be land but that's not super exciting what would red be planeswalkers <laughs> That'd be insane, and it's also not, it's not really, it's not really part of the, the red color pie. Okay, I really don't want to be green-white again, because I feel like we're just green-white all the time. Either way, Jake P, thank you so much for the box, really appreciate it. Our uncommons, which I have been showing off as well, are Soul Herder, Nantuko Cultivator, and Tranquil Thicket. Several green cards, several, several cards that have been whitewashed with the green screen. So I think we're probably going to take... I like this Valiant Changeling. I think it's very, very strong. Sinkhole? What are you saying right now? Oh, Magmatic Sinkhole? Yeah, that's great. I was like, Sinkhole? What? There's no Sinkhole in here. You can't destroy... There ain't no, there's no way you're going to be able to destroy land for two mana in Modern. Yeah, Magmatic Sinkhole is insane. That is a very solid... Uh, what what we call in... Um, like, if you, for, you, for you new players, what we call in Magic, uh, a removal spell. That's a pretty solid removal spell. Thundering Jin. When it attacks, deals damage to any target equals the number of cards you've drawn this turn. So it's always going to deal one. This is just 4-4 four, four flyer for five, basically. This card seems great. Hey, uh, can you guys not talk about my, magna my magmatic stinkhole? Stink hole? Uh, I don't know if this... Jake, let's do... I'm going to do a... I'll do a... Uh, I'll do a sliver draft next if you want. I, I just rather... I would rather open it. I would rather open an exciting sliver to get... To get started phlegmatic sphincter no that i don't know what that is i'm gonna i'm running out of water enhancers like this great value electrolyte blue raspberry if you guys ever want to send me a case of mio feel free to do that although feel free to send me a variety because you know I really try to mix it up a little bit. I don't want. I don't want to drink like the same the same flavor like ten thousand ten times in a row. Uh, or flame is not bad for two mana. Also, a lava belly sliver. That's that's right up Jake's alley. Talisman of curiosity is cute. Orcish hellraiser is cute. Fairy seer is probably poop. Probably doo doo brown. <clears throat> Can I post the four color deck right then? Yeah, go for it. Knock yourself out. Seer is fine. 
Interesting. I'd rather have the Phantasmal form or the Orcish Hellraiser. I'll just take the Hellraiser. Water is garbage and an awful burden to need. My god, that's aggressive. I'm going to take this Pondering Mage. I have yet to actually draft and play Pondering Mages, so this is this is our moment. I really hope that this isn't a sign that the blue and red is, is clearing up, though, because there was not much in that. Just another manic mic Um. What does this do? Oh, this is the draws a card, gets plus one for each card. So if it's on your turn, it's two, it's it's plus two plus so. If it's on their turn, it's plus one plus so. Mio berry variety pack. <laughs> oh my god. So just to just to clarify, me and Kerwit's friendship, Kerwit's Kerwit sends me both uh ridiculous items and uh novelty food items. Those are those are the biggest things. Um that he sends me. I don't, I don't know if it's this card. I don't know if it's great. I probably just want the fists. Um, and and on on social media, me and Kerwit literally alternate between like uh, different social medias to send messages to each other. Wow, Archmage's Charm seems gas here. Um, and most of the time, he's just sending me cool pop art things. Like today, he sent me a link to these Keith Haring shoes. These Keith Haring Adidases that are coming out. And I have to save them because it's not really working for some reason. Why can't I just save this as an image? Save image. There we go. We did it. Nope. Still not doing it. All right. We're just going to go up to PNG. See if that worked. Remove these guys. Found it. But it's not going to open watch. It's just going to be like, sorry, there's an error. Yeah, of course. All right. You know what, Windows? I don't even like you anymore. I think charm's hard on mana, but like, I don't think that matters. Uh, this guy actually seems pretty good. I've never played this guy yet, but he seems pretty awesome, right? You do have to be able to get in there one time or else he's not going to do anything. But I, I think birthing bows we've tried enough. It's kind of expensive. I think I'd rather just have the gleamer here. I'd rather just have another guy. Yeah, this is so weird that, like, it just won't save an image. I don't know, man. Anyway, let's just open this in a new tab. Oh, my God. Jake, can you... Oh, God. Oh, God. I guess, like, yeah, take a screenshot of it works. That's actually a great idea. That's a fantastic idea. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I'll just take a screenshot of it. I'll just snip it over here, and then I'll just drag it over. This is sad that this is what I have to resort to, though. Okay, so these are the... Yeah, he sends me these this morning. They're just... A, it's a special edition Adidas... Uh, with Keith Haring illustrations on them, and they look sick. I'm a fan. So I might pick those up. We'll see. Uh, prohibit seems good here. And then the other thing he sent me uh was a post by a an instagram pop art uh not pop art like a not graffiti artist like maybe like at kerwit knows what at frank lapore likes that's true that's true he does uh whatever we'll take the sliver i guess i ain't gonna play any of the other cards 
Phantasmal form actually seems fine. Fairy Seer is... I don't know, man. This card doesn't... Oh, it's actually good with the ninjas, though, right? I'm going to take this and play some ninjas. Is that is Thanos the guy in the private art? No, this guy's a little too scrawny to be Thanos. And this hair is not really Thanos either. Scuttling slivs? Man, we're just going to end up picking all these slivers up, I bet. It's going to be unreal. Uh, this was actually pre-Vidalcan, actually. Right? No, maybe not. I don't think this guy... Oh, this is Vidalcan. I'm thinking of Ethereum dudes, maybe. Yep, that's not getting played. Unless we draw, like... How many of these do... Oh, yep, then la don't get the second to last pick. Don't get the last pick either, I guess. That's Metathran. That's, that's what it is, yeah. Cool. Three, three cards that I had no choice in. Sounds good. Yeah, Invasion was pre-Vidalkin. Vidalkin first appeared in Mirrodin, I believe. Which was, uh, if I recall, it was either Mirrodin or 8th edition that had the first new border, the new frame. And Invasion was... Oh, shit. Uh, Invasion was the set that had uh, an old border. And also these guys. Winter's Rest is probably the best card in this pack. Yeah, eighth had the new frame as well. I just wasn't sure which came out first. If it was eighth or if it was if it was mirrored in block. I'm not sure. Let's take this firebolt, actually. I didn't even I was like I didn't even see this art. And I, I think I have such a natural disrespect for red cards that I'm just like Nothing good in this pack. I think we're just taking this Pyrophobia. Another Orcish Oriflame. Yeah, we're just taking Pyrophobia here. Hey, and a Winter's Rest and a Spell Snuff's interesting. Shenanigans don't care about. Yeah, we'll just take Winter's Rest here. Stream of Thought. How many Stream of Thoughts should we have to get? Because eight cards if you replicate it. It'll probably table, so I don't have to. I don't have to prioritize it just yet. Alpine Guide seems decent. It's also a snow buddy. Uh, I think we're just taking Moonblade Shinobi here. It seems very good with Fairy Seer, which we already have. Um, yeah, nothing else. This deck is looking pretty good so far. I'm actually pretty okay with it. This card seems nuts. Like, just being able to shoot anything for one. Like, and if you're shooting the opponent, as I mentioned, it's just basically a 4-4 flyer for five, which is always good and limited. Oh, I feel like we should have opened a pack in between pack one and two of this draft, so let's just do that now. Uh, rest is only good with snow permanence, but we have time, so I'm not super concerned with that. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked and we return it to its owner's hand. That's interesting. Why do I care about that? That seems that seems not great. Song of Disappearances is decent. Um, Avon's fine. I would almost rather take the Snow Island just so we don't uh, just so we don't blank on this. But four three flyer for six is not super exciting. 
Although we can trigger it, we can uh, cycle it to draw a card for Thundering Jin. I'm going to take the Snow Covered Island. We don't have any Snow Covered Islands yet, so I'd rather actually take a card. It's So, we're taking a card that doesn't really do much in our deck. Yeah, Smoke Shroud seems great, especially in the Ninja deck, so we're going to take that. We're doing we're taking a card that doesn't do much in our deck um, over a card that does, so that we can play a card that does something in our deck. Does that make sense? Eh, none of these cards are great for us. I'll just take this. Whatever. Okay, we're uh, we got a bird, a bird slash bear, a bird bear, if you will. Uh, again, oh, snow-covered mountains, perfect. Wow, that's that's a that's a nice little benefit. We got a we got a bird and a bear, a bird and a bear. Oh, what's I don't know what this is. Morpher on the boundless. This looks much creepier in, in... Wow, look at this. Literally no red or green cards. That's unbelievable. Or red red or blue cards, rather. And then we got... Morpheron. Which has a really weird, really weird face on it. I had never noticed this, but now I'm uncomfortable with it. Probably second smoke shroud. When a ninja on his battlefield, you can just return it from the from the graveyard of the battlefield, so you get it back. Whereas this guy doesn't really do anything for us. Yep, thought that would come back. I don't care about shenanigans really. <laughs> Alright, so this is gonna be a snow covered land, I presume. Trample and haste at the beginning of your end step return to cycling. Actually I like this for the cycling. But I also like this because it's just a hard counter. And we'll take cunning invasion. I'm grateful that I got a, a third pick. Didn't didn't get to pick there, but that's a real late wing shards. Got a a snow covered Montana. All right, here it is. Let's see what this is. That is a foil ephemerate. That arts, I love this art. This art's great. And then a sisse, dominaria leftover. I assume the weather light captain herself. That one's not that exciting. And then we have uh, <clears throat> Face of Divinity, Wall of Blossoms, and Tranquil Thicket as our uncommons. All right, what do we got here? Another one of these guys. Talisman on color, Manowar. Manowar, more Manowar probably the pick, right? Boingy Boy, I assume that's Manowar. I also think Quakefoot Cyclops is pretty decent. It's 4-4 four, for four, 5, which is fine. Up to two creatures can't block this turn, and then when you cycle it, target creature can't block this turn. So, got a lot going on. If this guy tables, I'd be grateful for it, but I'm just going to take the Mana War here. For obvious reasons. Sissé died in the lore a long time ago, not really a dominant... Wow, that was aggressive. Not really a dominaria leftover. Okay, well, my bad. It's just a legendary creature in a modern set that doesn't really feel like it fits the... the, the the theme of Modern Horizons, which is adding, you know, cards to Modern. Uh, I like String of Disappearances a lot. I think that's actually totally fine. Especially for like a blue tempo deck. Trustworthy Scout, you can not be here. One, two. Make sure all of these cards are playable. I don't, you know, you're not, you're fine. Everything else seems good. Oh, you're gone too. All right, yeah, we'll just take, take, take string. I mean, we do need more creatures, but what are you gonna do? We're, we're drafting. Winter's rest seems fine. I don't think it's phantasmal for us. I think we'd rather have the rest and hope this uh, snow-covered mountain comes back. Uh, I don't love the Drake. I think the Drake is pretty mediocre, but I mean, again, it's it's fine with like bouncy boys. Oh, Chiller Pillars, definitely pretty decent. Oh, Magmatic Sinkhole too, and a Vengeful Devil. Yeesh. Well, I don't think Sinkhole is coming back. We do have a good amount of removal. We have Sinkhole. We have double uh, Winter's Rest and a Pyrophobia and a Firebolt. So we're just gonna take this Chiller Pillar. Soul Herder is actually pretty sweet. I would actually be tempted to splash that if I could, because then we can keep blinking things like Mana War. It's 
really all I want to blink, to be honest with you. Oh, Pondering Mage is great. I like Bogard and Dragonheart, but I don't love it because we don't have that many creatures we want to sacrifice, but I think it's still fine. Superfits, what? Oh, you're, you're, you said Drake, and I'm like, what Drake? There's no Drake in this pack, but then you were correcting your own. Yeah, we'll just take Dragonheart. Another Pondering Mage? That's fantastic. Yes, please. A late Lava Dart, but I don't think I really care. Maybe I do. Maybe it's better than the second Prohibit. We'll see. Uh, this is a lot of good cards in this pack. We have Savage Swipe. It's really late. A Goblin Champion. A Munitions Expert. Jeez. Even this guy's great. Yeah, we'll just take the... We'll take the card we might be able to play. Cyclops did come back. This is 23 cards, and we have a snow-covered mountain here as well. I think we want the mountain because we do have Chiller Pillar, so... Nothing. Phantas oh mountain yes snow covered mountains that's where you want to be I'll just take diabolic edict I guess I don't know doesn't really matter yeah I think this is our 23 for sure I would actually I'd prefer another three drop for spell snuff but smell spell snuff but <laughs> that's what he said what does this one do untap this creature uh you're just gonna take this guy actually this guy cycles yeah we'll probably take the sprint the sand sprinter I guess up oh, and we didn't get a didn't get a second to last pick. Could have been good. Or a last pick. Oh, we got a last pick. I guess it's fine. We'll just take. Yeah, this guy seems better than the spell snuff. We already have Archmage's Charm. So, four lands. I like it. Do we want two smoke shrouds? Uh, definitely not cutting this counter because it's very good. I'm also not cutting Prohibit. Scuttling Sliver. You better than anything else? Are there any kind of shenanigans we can do with you? I don't think we want two smoke shrouds. When do you want to keep mana for counters? In the late game when you don't have any plays and when you've cast something and still have three blow ups so you can counter their late game bomb? I mean. Having a counter in your deck is totally fine. I don't know what late game prohibit means. Like, it's not an early counter spell. Like, they can still play a four drop on turn eight. They can still play a two mana removal spell or a trick in turn eight when you're trying to seal the deal. Like, if you're trying to win the game and you're racing with, like, a chiller pillar and they play, like, a diabolic edict because it's your only creature, like, you can still counter it on turn eight. It doesn't really... I don't... I don't know if you like. I don't know if you're you're. I don't know. I don't know if you're thinking that you can only play counter spells in the turns that they call. Like, if it costs two mana, you can only play on turn two. Like, it's not really how counters work. Uh. I don't know. Lost every game to what card? What's going on? So you're saying it's good or bad, PD? I can't actually tell what your what your message is here. <laughs> I can't tell if like you're you're in support of it or if you're like.
Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. You're welcome to dislike cards. Other people are welcome to like them. That's, I mean, that's just, that's totally fine. Uh, is this nine, nine, eight? Yeah, that's, that's probably fine. I don't know why you, I don't know how you can think like hard counter that also could draw you three cards is is not good like or two cards rather like it just seems good like it just seems like a good card Yeah, but triple blue in a two-color deck. Triple blue is fine. Like if you don't play it till like it doesn't have you don't have to play it on turn three. Like you can play it on turn six, turn seven. Like if you're in a if the game is in a in a board stall, which is, I mean that happens in limited. Like you can just get to turn seven, draw two cards, get to turn seven, counter their eight, counter their eight eight in green. Like there's a lot of cards that blue can't deal with. Blue and red can't deal with. Like they have eight eights. Like I don't mind having like a late game card. I have triple blue. Like I don't mind having a late game card where like it just shuts down things, even if it's harder to cast. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that, man. Okay, well, this is twice in one day. Oh, this is incredible. Uh, let's just play another island here. Firebolt's not an instant, so we can't just Firebolt at the end of our turn, so... <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, man, the old, the old twofer. Let's do it again. Ooh, interesting. I'm blocking because of ninjas, so. Yeah, seems fine. So I think, I, I have to assume she has some sort of ninjas against her. Do you win against Gabby? No. In game one, Gabby had two 8-8s that, uh, that we could not deal with. We boarded in some white removal, and then we actually won game two. And then in game three... Uh, another 8-8 eight, eight and two flyers were able to deal with us. They were able to dispatch us handily, you might say. I'm tempted to bounce this, but, like, God, it draws you a card. It's very good. Hmm... Hmm. Doesn't seem great, right? I think we're just going to get in there and trade. Like it's a, it's a it's a one for one because of Fist of Flame, but Oh, 
Ooh, I like no blocks here. But it was I who had the ninjas all along. But I feel like now they get a free attack, so that's pretty sad. Yeah, I knew I knew it was Lucian Gabby. Yeah, we just played them earlier, so I'm not like. Uh, we're just gonna take it here. Although bouncing this guy is really good, so oh, they did not do that. Interesting. This attack was really interesting now, because this is 100% bounce fodder. Like this is a great creature to bounce because you get to reuse the ability. Oh, that's just rude. Why would you do this? I cannot believe you have done this. Oh boy. Mono pondering mage dot deck. I really don't want to bounce any of these guys because they're pretty good. Making big. What do you guys what are you guys suggesting? Like we had this costs two mana, not one, so I don't make him. I don't know what you guys are saying. I don't know what's going on here. Alright, well, we can block and Fist of Flame for one. Or Prohibit. I just got a YouTube comment from Zach saying, I used to love Miracle Whip and American Cheese Sandwiches. And y'all are monsters. And that's pretty good. Discarded Tribute Mage. Can't deal with that. That is unfortunate. I don't think, yeah, our 2 is like holding the fort here, which is kind of nice. That's also pretty nice. I do want to hit a land drop, I guess. So we will reign of revelation. On the main phase, discard. So we're going to have one, two, three. We can't actually magmatic sinkhole here, which is unfortunate. Four cards drawn this turn, though. We can actually go ham with this guy. It's a lot of damage. I guess they just block it, though. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Actually, don't know what to get rid of here. It's actually just a mountain. Seems like an easy choice. I don't know why it took so long. Me neither. Okay. So this is going to get plus five. Well, I'd rather have two firebolts than one. I'd rather have a, a two firebolts than a firebolt and a mountain. So, yeah, definitely mountain. Especially if I'm delving the cards in my graveyard. Like, I don't really want to delve the firebolt. Um, this is interesting, right? They just go block, block. I feel like our attacks are pretty bad here, but maybe this guy does some work. Because they block here, we just sack. If they double block, it's actually maybe it's pretty good. Yeah, let's see what happens. This is actually kind of what we were hoping for 
I'm saying four, six, so we're going to be able to deal with five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, eight. We want to get rid of these two, so. Yeah, that was pretty insane. That was a really good turn. God, I'm so tired of playing against this guy. <sighs> Gabby, come on, dude. <laughs> oh my god. So they could just draw it if, uh, okay. I like it. Um, I'm going to bottom this. We'll top this. Seems good. Yeah, I'll just take two here. Oh, God. What's happening right now? Oh, my internet died. Fantastic. Gotta love it. Absolutely love it. I'm like, what happened? I don't know. 614 at 6.55 p.m. I guess we have returned. Next time we can Chiller Pillar and Winter's Rest, which is nice. They're cycling this. Intriguing. Why cycle that there? very confused about the cycling that but apparently something's gonna happen that's absolutely busted five six seven eight nine ten mana yep just draw your whole graveyard back i wish i could have seen what was in the graveyard i wish i wish i could have seen what went into their hand but uh, apparently that is uh, a difficult thing to implement on magic online so jk it's not Oh, we actually can't do that. We actually don't have enough snow mana yet. We were actually a little off here. So we'll just do this. <laughs> and we get to keep up prohibit, which is fine.
I mean, was there anything in the graveyard that we really cared about? Double Pondering Mage, right? Pondering. Pondering. Aven. Like, we know about those three, I guess. The Springleaf, the Druid, and a land. I don't, I'm not going to write land, I guess. So we know four of the cards. It should really just show you. It should really just either reveal it or write it in the chat what the cards are. Like, the fact that you don't get to know what they get back is pretty stupid. The fight card? Oh, yeah, that's right. Bear punch. I bet these two bear punch. Yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. We have one. We can actually still... I don't think I want them to have three threes, but I don't think I really care either. The problem is we don't have big enough guys to really deal with that. I have Pondering, Avon, Druid, and Bear Punch in hand at least. Yeah, this seems decent enough. This is a nice two for one. Because they no longer have the land in the graveyard. That actually worked out pretty well. So Pondering, Avon, and Druid are still in their hand. And those are all cards I think we can deal with. I mean, they have to play Avon next turn. Or else they're dead. So. Yeah, five seems fine. Don't be a land. It's actually pretty good, I guess, all things considered. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, you have a counter spell for this. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Yeah, must be nice. Is this not opponent's creature? Return target creature to another hand. Oh, I guess you could. Yeah, I guess you could target your own thing. Yep, another pondering mage. Druid's gone. Avon's gone. I guess we don't know anything. In, I, I, we know we have no more information as far as we can tell.
let's just go to the next game. I actually like champion a lot better because it makes our one one in the air better. It makes our uh, it makes our flyers better. It makes our and we can also sack it to this guy if we really need to. Wow, this hand is absolute absolute trash. So just like last time, we are mulliganing. That's pretty sad, but I guess we'll keep it on on six bottom to five drop. Oh, and it has... Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you guys see me click it? It went up. It literally went up into the red zone. And then it's just like, nah, just kidding. Oh, my God. Absolutely hilarious. You got it. If, if we end up losing this game when they're at one, I'm just going to be real, real disappointed. I assume they named Creature. So they hit one pondering mage sure See, now we have a flyer and we're attacking with a 4-3 or a 5-3 if, uh, if we exalt it. You're dead on board, but your opponent doesn't see it. He draws his card for the turn, thinks for a minute, uses a removal spell on a relevant creature, then goes to combat and sits there for another number saying go. Was I out of line for pointing out how many ways he had lethal and telling him to quit wasting? Um, I don't think you're out of... I, I just think that's rude. Like, I think you're just being... If you're saying, like, this is how many ways you had lethal... You're, if you're telling him how many ways he had lethal, you're a know-it-all. You're, like, trying to be a know-it-all. And then if, if you're telling him to quit wasting your time, like, that's just you being mad. Because... They didn't kill you faster. You know what I mean? Like... Like, that's not how you would present it if you weren't coming from a place of, like, anger or... You know, salt. I would just be like, you would, you would, you wouldn't consider it wasting your time because you could still dig out of the scenario, right? So, I don't know. Not everyone is as good as magic as you want them to be. You know what I mean? Like, well, just attacking with ninjas five damage, but like it block. So I'd rather just. I mean, if they block here, I'd still rather get the point in.
Like, you could, I mean, for the rest of the game, they may not see lethal. Just because lethal is on board. Like, magic isn't a game where, like, you automatically lose if the other person has lethal. Like, they have to see it. They have to make the plays. You're not playing against the board state. You're playing against the person, you know? So... If we bounce Ninja, we're taking a lot of pressure off their board and we still get to attack with this next turn. They get to draw a card, but like we'd have to bounce a Ninja to replay this. They're also at eight. Yeah, let's just bounce our Ninja. Do I want to pay two blue to copy this and then bounce something else? No, not really. Okay, that'll do. Wow. Mold of five on this, this game, I believe. And uh, did not expect to win that one. But apparently one Moonblade Shinobi and uh, one Smoke Shroud is pretty good. Always taking it to game three with Gabby, I guess. So that's not too shabby. Going game three with Gabby, not too shabby. That's how we do. Obi-Wan Shinobi. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Why are you the way that you are? Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. One drop. Snow-covered mountain is acceptable with winter's rest in hand. I like it. I like it. Oh, that was a good hit. It does mean we can't play a three drop, and it also doesn't get past this guy, so maybe we just hold it. Going to game three with Gabby sounds like a podcast. Um, so we get to play Hellraiser here, and then we just don't have a play next turn, which is unfortunate. Or we can just hold off because we have a couple of three drops. I think we're just going to wait. I could also see us playing Dragonheart and then sacking this on the following turn, but... Like, we could have played this guy and then attacked if they didn't play, if they don't play anything here, and then just pump it, and then also play the Hell, Hell Rider. Which I think I like better now that, now that I've had the option. Look at all these dirtily creatures. My god. We could just Hellraiser. We could kill this. We could attack with Hellraiser. Or play Hellraiser, then sack it if they double block. Seems good. I really don't want to waste the Pyrophobia on this, but on the same hand, like... Like, next time we're going to play Pondering Mage. I might just take two here as well. I mean, I'll definitely trade Hellraiser for both of these. Yeah. Uh, 
let's get it off the board. I'm, I'm game. We're trading Hellraiser and two damage for that, and that's fine. I don't really want to... Yeah, I guess this is fine. Because next time we're going to Pondering Mage, so our turn's pretty much taken, taken up. On the bright side, they can't exclude this now, so that's nice. Cowards are no longer able to block. That's true. We can also just play Gleaner and Winter's Rest this guy, but I don't really trust this because they have... I mean, you really want to just save this for the 6-6s. Six the 8-8s, eight rather. Why is Gabby pronounced Gabby and Baby pronounced Baby? <laughs> it's a good question. That's a good question. How is Babby formed? Let's see what we got. Wow. I want to bottom all of these. But you can't do that. Oh, we can shuffle. Yeah, let's shuffle. That's fascinating. If they block, we're just trading... We're just trading Pondering Mages, right? Okay. Interesting. Oh, because it still dies, I guess. Actually, this is fine. I'll just trade one for one. Yikes. Naming... You just always name creature, right? So you got a Frostwalla. Wow, you just drew three. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. It's a good card. Draw three for two mana. Yep. Oh, boy. Japanese vendor three dollar toast that can only toast one slice of bread at a time. Why? Why exactly? Uh, that's $270, not $300. Come on, Kerwood, get it together.
Yep, there's the red, so they can they can, they can reap all day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unfortunately, they can double block still. I really want Winter's Rest this idiot. Probably. I mean, it's a 4-4. I guess we're just hoping that they don't have 8-8s. Eight like, eh. I feel like this, this match we're very far behind. Uh, internet should be totally fine. Uh, bottom and top this, I guess. That doesn't seem ideal. But we can cycle Sand Sprinter if it's not going to do anything. So now they have this and four other cards. This is where they just draw six. <laughs> draw six random cards. Yeah. Seems good. Sinkhole's a pretty sick splash because you can actually exile the cards that you don't want in your graveyard. $270 is about 300 Maybe. I mean... Maybe. Interesting. Yep, that's a good one. That's also a good one. Yep, we're definitely cycling this now. Eh, that's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're basically just dead here. I can't think of anything we can draw here that actually saves us. So, unfortunate, lose again. So, that would have been good, but we'd be dead. So, I will play first. Um, I'm going to keep this because of the fairy seer. This actually seems fine. Bottom, bottom. Come on, don't don't do me like that. Yeah, playing against Gabby and Luis is basically just playing against Luis and it's the same thing, right? Like, I mean Look at all these lands we're hitting, guys. This is fantastic. Okay, make sure they're both attacking. All right. Hmm. 
but really who else who else i mean we've taken it to game three every time i'm totally fine with that like would have liked another land here because now we have like hmm three removal spells a counter spell and a uh a four mana card but Four planes. All right, we got to play something here. A sliver. A sliver. I mean, with the, the amount of pressure we're putting on right now, I'm okay with this. That dude's going to take a rest. This is, we're going to win this game off of like Fairy Seer and an Orcish Hellraiser? Come on. Come on. They go to three. We have Lava Dart. They go to one, essentially. This was not a real game of Magic the Gathering. Yep, you can have that hot gentleman. Hot gentleman. And they actually can't even block this guy, right? <sighs> All right. Uh, okay. A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay. All right. Oh, this hand is... Eh, it's fine. We're 66% we're, we're of the way to casting Archmage's Charm. Now we're 100% of the way there. Let's ask him. Oh, God, he's going to ask him on Twitter or something. Yep, that's a good one. Would have loved to counterspell that. This card's actually surprisingly backbreaking and limited. If you have any, like two other bears, you either get a four four out of it, or you fights, you just kill something. We're all the way there. Thank you. Green Sun's Peanut, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. That's <laughs> oh, man. Why is that funny? I don't know. It just is. Who knows why things are funny? They just are. P 
Penith isn't even a real word? Wow, that's crazy. Who knew? Ugh. 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 Yeah, I'll just counter this. I don't feel like you having a bunch of threats on the board when I got nothing. I have nothing. Let's play this chiller pillar. How would we know if it's the actual gut shot, though, you know? Oh, we didn't open a pack, guys. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm dropping the ball. I'm going to open a pack now. All right, we got a... Oh, oh man. I get. I keep getting excited about the, the art cards, but I think they're only doing the like the, 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 mythic, the cool mythics and rares. We got a shapeshifter, and on the back we got an angel... So that's pretty nice. But no, I got this this Renin 6. Uh, again, yeah, there we go. Got to zoom in there. These look fantastic. I still can't get over how sweet these are. They're just really nice quality. And then we got this Forest, followed by... Ooh, a Nurturing, a nurturing Peatland. What's this one going for? This is the Black Green Horizon Canopy. Tell me what that one's going for. We have, we have two of them so far. And then we got a Grave Shifter, a Wing Shards, and a Watcher for tomorrow. So, um, let's draw our card. Oh, Winter's Winter's coming. Did you guys know about Winter? It's coming. Yeah, the price the prices are not updated through MTG Bot yet. So, was this Wing Shards? You gonna Wing Shards me? Wing shots. Can you buy the art cards on Cool Stuff Inc? I don't know, but if you do go to CoolStuffInc.com, you can check that out. And if you're able to do that, you can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. And you can also check out my article that I wrote this week about the additions uh, to Modern Horizons. Oh, this is actually pretty backbreaking, right? Like, not only do they not get this back, but we get to eat their, their berry boy. Check out my article. It's about the impact that Modern Horizons had on has had on Modern so far. So if you're looking for uh, any of the new decks, you can check those out. If you're looking for what cards have had an impact, you can check that out. It's uh, it's over at CoolStuffInc.com. Definitely check that out, my dudes. This article is so good, it gave me the ability to read. And this, this, all this can be yours, guys. I really want to stop drawing lands, though. That's really where I'm at right now with my life, I think. It does seem good, but the problem is we've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands to five spells this game, which is not ideal. Especially when they get to go Guy Battle Screech. And we just get to go QQ. Because that's just the saddest thing you can do. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. All this is fine. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Can you guys take my hand? Because we'll make it. I swear. <gasps> Holy shit, that's good. Oh, that's good against these stupid little shit birds. Boom, 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 boom. Don't have, a re don't have an answer for this guy, and we are good. What's the cost of living on a prayer? It's about $400, I think. Whoa, b butterfree I'm okay, Dad.
Oh, get a load of this guy. This is like, I'm going to pump my whole team. Oh, look at all my big fat idiots. I'm going to tap your floaty boy. Whatever. What? Ever. I guess we'll take 8,000 damage. Eight whole damages. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that little guy? That yeah, doesn't do anything, but that's fine. Get busy shooting. Get busy shooty tooting. You know, if this was a Japanese game, it definitely would have been actual 8,000. That's true, yeah. The damages would have been, they just like add, add, add two zeros to all the damage. If it's eight, make it eight, 800. If it's if it's 30, make it 3,000. Let's play this little, little ding, dinkle, mixed dinkle. Oh boy, I don't want any of these. Oh boy. The island is nice because it makes our chiller pillar into floaty boy, but I don't know if that's good enough. The dragon heart's fine. We're probably going to tap down the Knight of Old Benali here, I guess. Yeah, bottom you. Put you on top. I guess you're you're as good as I can expect here. So. If they have settle here, it'd be insane. Like they just exile this guy and then also blink this guy. Actually, they'd probably just win if they exiled this guy. I bet. Dead on board? How are we dead on board? They have five power on board. Yep, seems fine. <laughs> Never mind. Oops, I thought you were at. Uh... I thought you were at two, and then they had a million power on board, but it turns out they only had five power, and you were not at five, so... Yes. Dragon heart, hear me calling. Do it. Destroy the child. Sometimes I gotta kill them birds. So you got four creatures, I have two creatures. So at the very least, I will be taking two damage. Probably more now because you're gonna tap a guy. So I guess I will be taking four damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Foolish heart, hear me call and stop before. Yeah, this is fine. If our opponent can actually stop drawing creatures, I think we're in good shape. If they can just hit a land drop, or if we could not hit a fucking land drop, that'd be fantastic, right? Like, that's all I really want. Hey, no land for me, or and land for you, and then we're good. And then we're good. I just ordered all the art cards. Nice. And we just hope they don't have a creature, I guess. Or else we die. Did you use promo code FRANK5? I hope you did. I guess even if they don't hit a creature... No, we can just block the sliver. So they have to have a creature. I've never seen them not have one. So might as well have one now, right? Might as well have 6-6 six, six set for 7. Sure. Why not? I mean, makes total sense, right?
There you go. Congratulations. You did it. <sighs> Exhausting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Seems good. Now, well, Lava Dart seems a lot better now that they have B Screech. Game one. Win handily. Game two. Died and never uh, drawn spells. Game three. Bring a lava dark back in. Oh, snap keep, my friend. Snap keep. Mana War into Shinobi seems good. Not okay with how close we were to your face. Do you want to be closer? Is that the problem? JK, I was okay with <laughs> Nick, when are you visiting again, my dude? Because I'm getting a little I'm getting a little annoyed that I haven't seen you in a, in a spell. It's been like a thousand years. Put both of these on top. I want three mana so we can hit our Shinobi. But then I also want uh, Pyro. Phobia. I don't know, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's too bad your job doesn't have like time off that you could take. Because that'd be sweet. Then you could take time off and come visit. You guys in the YouTube comments in the chat should let uh, Monk HB, who is actually Hat Mike, you should let him know that he should come visit and we can do stream again. Because if you guys are if you guys recall the last time me and Hat Mike did a stream, uh, we tried to draw ten cards with an Ulamog. Oh Jesus! And uh, it did not work because our opponent had uh, the Thigid play. They had a Leovold, and we went to we we negative three Garrick to draw ten, but. Um, Thankfully, we have no Planeswalkers or Artifacts, so this sword's kind of meh. It's literally just plus two, plus two, and pro colors that we are not except for red, so half of our colors, I guess. I don't know. But I feel like we're doing okay. Hat Mike was super fun. 1010 would watch Hat Mike and Frank draft again. Nice. That's nice. Uh, I'm probably just going to kill this guy, because really... And I think they just conceded. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. The Art of Cool Decks by Hat Mike. What is this? What is this clip? Man, none of my decks do cool things. Hat Mike, can you school me in the Art of Cool Decks? All right. Uh, rule number one, uh, forget everything you know about magic and just, like, completely tunnel vision on the cards that you like. Just be like, oh, that's my favorite card. And then, like, like Goldfish Brain, immediately look at the next card in the pack and be like, oh, that's my favorite card. And then just, you know, just take, just click. Just click as fast as you can. Don't do any of those things. These are not solid. Just close your strategies. eyes and uh, just click randomly. Or just look at the screen let the time run out. This four-card hand. Man, none of my decks do cool things. Hat Mike, can you school me in the art of cool decks? That's All amazing. Right. This guy is smart. <laughs> is he, though? Oh, oh my god. This is fantastic because we don't have to pay the echo. Oh, wow. That was like the worst thing they could have actually done. Oh, my god. I can't even. That's. Oh, my god. I don't have to pay the echo. I get to play this guy now instead of next turn. Oh. That was the most beautiful thing ever. All right, let's look at Hat Mike's sideboarding tips. 
Frank suggestions? Um, I say um, take out all of our land and put in the progenitus and then just submit the deck and see what happens. Okay, so that, that, we, we do, let's say we do that. What do you think happens? Um, we lose. And you feel like that's a solid strategy? For victory? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> For victory? Yeah. I think what what you want to do with this Moonblade Shinobi is just amass as many 1-1s as you can. And we're kind of doing that. Ham skillet swine. That's what we're doing. Look at that little... Look at that little dirtle. Hmm. So we can attack. If they want to trade 1-1 one, one for 1-1, one, one, I think that's fine. Come on, both of you gentlemen. We're just going to keep up Rain of Revelation here. Chocolate Rain of Revelation. That was an aggressive block. Okay, so just they're just hard casting that guy? Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, Firebolt is four damage by itself, and they're at nine, so. Chocolate rain. Of Revelation. Wow, we just threw three lands. Four lands in a row. That's incredible. Go, 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 get him. Uh, I think Reign of Revelation is actually fine. I yeah, Actually, you're right. It won't actually see a play because there's too many other options in the formats where it's legal. That's an interesting point. Also, this is another match, and I don't think we opened a pack. Maybe we did? That's incredible. This is the second time I've played against this card today, and it's a rare. That's wonderful. Every deck I play against has to get Winds of Abandoned. Uh, ooh, a, a foil spooter, guys. Look at that foil spooter. That thing looks gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Art card is Hogak, which is like 60 bucks in real life, I guess. Can I just play his art card in my deck instead? Oh, I don't want to do that. Here's a snow-covered island, your favorite and mine. And then the rare, Eladomri's Call. Eh, not ideal. But that's okay. Sometimes you get not ideal things. And then we have these three for uncommons, a Talisman, a Wing Shards, and an Exclude. Okay, so let's try to draw. Look at all these lands. Look at all these friggin' lands that we have. They're also at four. What's six to seven dollars? What are you saying? Elad Omri's call? I did not know that. Unless you're just lying to me. Would you lie to me, Lance? Wow, really? This is all very fascinating. They have one card in hand? Okay. I feel like we're alright. Yeah, that's fine. Attack for two. You got it. <sighs> Wings of Abandon. Winds of Abandon when we make a bunch of dudes. Are you f are you four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? Fifteen lands. There are two lands in our nineteen cards right now. <laughs> this is comically unbelievable. Oh my goodness, God. Oh look, a changeling, so that you're Yep.
Oh, that's a good hit. Thank. I just can't handle all these. Why wow, you're leaving? Because I'm drawing too many lands. That's messed up. Do I just keep Archimedes Charm and then draw two with it? I feel like that's correct. Hogex 19? I feel like it went down then. That dude was like $15,000 like a, like a week ago. Oh, they're also not speculating. They actually the, the deck was the deck had eight out of the top thirty two slots in the in the modern challenge, which you guys can find out if you read my article over at CoolStuffInc.com. All right, so the first card click will be the last card drawn. Yeah, we want this guy, this guy, and this card. Won't shuffle. We're gonna draw that. Play that. I think we just want to get as deep as possible into our deck at this point. So, and we can chump block here, so that's not too big of a deal. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I just don't think we have the luxury of doing that. And we also have like two lands in our entire deck. So I'm not really too concerned. I think all hits are pretty good at this point. JK, leaving for a road trip to play some DD with friends. Dimitri, have a good weekend, buddy. That seems good, right? Oh, I guess I'll just put this on you and uh, try to win the game. I mean, they get to block, but... Oh, they have a... <sighs> yep, want both of these. Top, top. Oh boy, that's uh, that's something. That was impressive. Last card, Defile with exactly four swamps. Yeah, I'm not at a point where I want to take like a million damage here. I also don't think I just want to slam this guy into the imposter either, but maybe. Yeah, it's fine. And we draw Pyrophobia next turn, so we can just kill this, kill this. Like, unless they have, like, something really good. But your emotions are showing. Oh, God. Comments incoming. Yep. No, no blocks here. Four is much better. Pew, 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 pew. <clears throat> oh, you got a little thing, huh? Shelter. That's actually great because now they don't have a shelter for their f their sliver. Yep, that seems fine. Another land, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 13, 14, 15. There are two lands in the deck. So that's, that's all right. And we win the game. All right. Win in the game, win in the game. Sometimes all you do... Didn't we just... Didn't we... Is this round three? Yeah, round two was the blue, the white-green deck, right? With the Ayula and stuff. Fascinating. 
This dude has a lot of removal. I think we do too, though. I think we're fine. Wait. Oh, this clip is gassed. Let's draw 10. I thought we were in round two as well. Yeah, do you want to just draw 10 cards? Good lord, that's a lot of cards. I mean, we're going to have to discard some amount. I'll of keep them. this against them. Unless we get... No, we're going to have to discard some. Yeah, we're going to have to. Uh, we could channel and... Oh god, this is going to be too painful to watch. Oh yeah, this hand is great now. Chad is like, not with Leo. Garrick first. Play the 3 1. No? You don't want to do that? Okay. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh, wow. This hand is just insane now. Got him. So long, little buddy. Man, Man of War with no, uh, with nothing to do. Potentially, we could hit Channel here. And get Emrakul. Yes, yeah. and then we could actually Vraska for the extra one point. No! <laughs> God, we Oh, that's fantastic. I really don't want to bounce this Grave Shifter, but on the other hand, they have nothing to get back right now, so I'm pretty okay with it. Oh, it's a little scorpion. Oh, look at that little guy. That guy's actually great with the 2-1 flyer that they have in hand. So, I'm just going to play Pondering Mage. This guy is huge. 306 the last night with Blue Black Ninja's deck only had one rare in it. Wow. I might need to try the Blue Black Ninja's deck. I feel like there's something there. Uh, I don't think I want to keep this. Sand Sprinter's meh. Dragonheart's meh here. That's pretty good. I was going to Winter's Reap this guy anyway, because not having it in the graveyard is nice, because they have two cards in their hand that can get things back from the graveyard with one toughness. Or one power, rather. At least I think how that I think that's how Vesper Lark works. I think that's what it's called. Vesper Lark. Let's see if I'm right. I guess I just can't. Yeah. Uh, with one or with power one or less, yeah. So you can only bring this this guy. You can't bring back the grave crawler or anything, so. Mm, let's just go. And they, like they still have grave grave digger in hand, so. And now we can actually we can, we can keep prohibit up. Let's do that. Yeah, I like this a lot. Four flying, huh? Okay. That's interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I kind of like just... Let's... Fist of Flame on you. Like it. Winter's Rest on you.
I'll just pass. Oh man, running out the grave shifter by itself. That's fantastic. Oh, I forgot we had a lava dart in the graveyard. That's pretty gas. I mean, if they have Defile, we're in bad shape, but I think we just win if they don't. Gut shot you. I want a gut shot. Are they conceding? Is that what this is? Got him. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe and check it out on Twitch on manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code in the description for 20% off your first three months of any subscription. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore and uh, you get free shipping and free returns. So check that out as well. And uh, I'm actually going to get out of here because I'm getting hungry and it's 8 o'clock. So give me a follow or subscribe if you guys are watching on Twitch and you want to support the stream. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, if you have Twitch Prime, you get a free subscription every month. Let's open one more pack right before we go. And uh, we'll see what we get. The video is still going. So everyone on YouTube also gets this last pack. Illusion and an angel. All right. Then we got Wall of a Thousand Cuts, which actually looks pretty sweet. It's just literally a bunch of swords and a sun. It's pretty cool. Uh, snow-covered forest Layden, thank you so much for the, for the goalie thank you for the gifted sub buddy really appreciate it and prismatic vista that's a good one this is a good one thank you guys so much really appreciate it. you guys are awesome the, the uncommons in this are rebuild throws of chaos and tempered tempered sliver and uh, i'll see you guys probably sometime this weekend i do want to get a couple more videos in so uh Definitely give me a follow or sub if you guys want to keep up and get notifications whenever I go live. I will see you later. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.